Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I thought it would be kind of funny to expose myself and show you guys a little insight to my private Instagram. So the Instagram that I share with you guys is technically my public one which is for my YouTube channel but I have had this other one since I was about 13. So there's plenty of embarrassing pictures on here and I still have them all on my Instagram even though it is private. Um, so I thought that I would do a little screen recording and we can go through it and you can witness some of the embarrassing things that are on there. So I think I figured out the screen recording since the last video. So hopefully this should work. So I'm going to try and pop it here and we are going to go through my Instagram. Disclaimer, the screen recording did not work. <laughs> So this is the Instagram that little Mads had since she was 13, so we're going to scroll right down to the bottom and see what we can find. So the very first picture is this one of me here, and I captioned it, going to see Man of Steel in gold class. This is my first gold class experience, so of course I had to get that top angle photo and post it on my Instagram, make a mem out of it, and I used so many hashtags on this, that is actually insane. Hashtag can't wait. Hashtag smiles. <laughs> hashtag gold class. Hashtag so excited. <laughs> if that does not sum me up as a 13 year old, I don't know what does. So a lot of these are basically from year seven. So the next photo is again the same thing. And I used to put like a lot of quotes on my what's that called on my captions which I feel like if you didn't put quotes on your captions were you ever really 13 so this one says you can never cross the ocean unless you have the courage to lose sight of the shore and I remember I used to love the top I was wearing in this because it looked like cookies and cream and that was my favorite flavor of ice cream but definitely not a vibe now and this was before I had braces oh my god that's crazy a cheeky photo from my school production when I had my makeup done I thought I looked so glam here um I don't. <laughs> the eyeliner and everything just doesn't match up. But that's alright. You know, it's a vibe. It's fine. Yeah, she'll be right. <laughs> I feel like everyone has quite or would have had quite embarrassing Instagram feeds. I feel like a lot of people delete them and start fresh or ar archive, archive, archive their photos. But I just have chosen to keep most of mine up. I think I have probably deleted a few in the past, but this is pretty authentic as to what my Instagram used to look like and well, still does look like it's just not my public one so I've got like oh my god <laughs> a photo with my iPad in the mirror like I understand a phone selfie because like that's small right look how massive that iPad is it's actually ridiculous <laughs> wow I'm really surprised we haven't even got up to where I've got braces yet so this is a photo of me cleaning up a bench that we still have out the back um it is not in as good nick as when I was doing this and clearly I got very very dirty while I was doing this hashtag messy face <laughs> but that's just like a bench we've always had in our garden so a little throwback to when I was cleaning it up far out hashtag but wood tech actually teaches you something I'm so sorry carpenters and everyone oh my god I'm so ignorant <laughs> Oh my god, first time I wore a hide bun and this was my favourite singlet. I'm so glad I got rid of it though because it's just not a vibe. <laughs> but I used to love it a lot. Oh my god, and look at my little crooked teeth and my little biscuit chin before I found out what <laughs> skincare was and I just had like a problem area. That still is my problem area. I just know how to look after it better now. Oh, this photo is from my first ever concert when I went to see One Direction and I went with my best friend Beck. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, Beck, if you're watching this, you might kill me. But these are some of the most iconic videos ever and they've stayed on my Instagram because they're just so funny and I feel like people are doing this sort of stuff on TikTok now but we did this way back in 2013 and it makes me laugh every time and I just have to share it with you. How normal people find a comfy spot on their chair. How Rebecca Ann just finds a comfy spot on her chair. <laughs> How normal people walk down the street. Also, peep 13 year old me voice. How Rebecca Ann just walks down the street. How are you doing? <laughs> How normal people. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I used to be like that. Uh, people on my 
Kitty, I'm still like that. <laughs> Okay, so I've composed my <laughs> Okay, so I've composed myself now. Sorry if you don't find those funny, but those literally crack me up so much. But then swiping up a little bit further on my Instagram, I have this video of my little bunny. Oh, I miss him so much. His name was Max. He's so cute. I've got a new bunny now, obviously. You will have met her. Her name's Willow. But this was my first, like my first bunny, and I love him so much. He's so sweet. Oh. Another selfie with the iPad, this time for Christmas, off to the Christmas carols. A little bit of red in there. All right, man, pop in that little bit of red. Okay, sis, I see you. A little Christmas hat. <laughs> Sorry, my camera just ran out of storage. And apparently so is my phone because it hasn't been screen recording this whole time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have to pop up pictures and like little snippets because for some reason my phone just does not want to work along with this so I'm really sorry that it hasn't been the videos and photos that, like it hasn't been screen recording basically and I'm sorry about that but I'll pop up photos anyway for reference so you know what I'm talking about typical feet pic <laughs> that sounds so bad not like a feet but if you can see it it's one of those like ones where you all put your shoes in except for some reason one of us is wearing like vans one of us is wearing flats one of us is wearing sandals and one of us is wearing socks so <laughs> It's not really that much of a vibe, but it's on my gram anyway, and I'm just going to keep it there. Best day, apparently, according to the caption. This is a photo of my family. I think it was for someone's birthday. I can't remember exactly whose, but I've got, like, my uncles and my aunts there, and my pa, who recently passed away, but he's so sweet, so I really want to include this so that you guys can see how great my family is, and they're just all so lovely. I just love them. Aussie babe. I used to love this t-shirt. Oh, it makes me want to... <laughs> I don't know why I bought it. I don't know why I was allowed to buy it. I don't know why I was allowed to wear it. But I had it. And here's proof. <laughs> oh, this was a picture from my birthday in 2015. We went out for dinner at this place called La Porchetta, which is basically a, like, pizza pasta place, Italian. We don't have it anymore where I live, but there are still a few around. But this is me and my sister on that day, and it's so cute. I oh, I remember that birthday. It was really sweet. And that's my friend Lydia in the background. <laughs> Cheeky little confranta book promotion here. I've still got that book, actually. It's currently on my bookshelf. So if you've seen my room tour, you probably saw it. It's down the bottom of the stack of three books. And I, to be honest with you, I don't know if I've actually read that book. It's pretty. But I don't think I've read it. I think I just like the aesthetic. But I don't know if I've actually read the book, to be completely honest. But I made a post dedicated to it anyway. <laughs> this picture is the most infuriating picture that I have on my Instagram. Like, so infuriating. Because I met Grant Danielle, right, with my friend Shanae, one of my best friends. And I chose to post the picture of me and her with the cardboard cutout rather than the actual person because I'm thick in the head. <laughs> like, look, so this is the photo that I posted of us with the cardboard cutout and then I'll overlay a picture of us with the actual Grant Danielle that Shanae posted and I just don't know why I did that. Like, I literally have no idea. Why did I not just post the picture of us with the actual being instead of us with... Oh, it... <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> now, if I do say so myself, I think this is about when I started to have, like, my glow up. I hadn't glown up. I don't think I still have glown up, to be honest with you. But it's when I kind of started maturing a little bit and I knew how to dress myself and I didn't wear t-shirts that say Aussie Babe on them. And this was in 2017. I was 17 at this point, so hopefully I'd be a bit more mature. But... Here's a cute little photo with a messy background, so clearly I'm not that mature because I don't even know how to clean my desk. But, still a nice photo. <laughs> now the real question is, would you believe me if I said that I was a blonde? Because this is, this part is fake, right? I've dyed this, but this part is real and it is proper brown. But, this photo on my Instagram is of a photo when I was younger and it was Father's Day when I posted this. And I have blonde hair. I have blonde hair. Like, who would believe that I have blonde hair? Especially when you look at these eyebrows, which are dark AF. How would you believe that I have blonde hair? But I did. I'm the one on the shoulders with the blonde hair. Like, that's just insane. Like, 
How did I go from blonde to... I'll never know. All right, I think this will probably be the last photo I show you just because the rest of my feed is pretty similar to my blog feed or it's variations of the photos that you will see on my public Instagram. But this is a photo of me at my debutante. And it's not exactly of me, it's of me and my friends when we were walking out to the limo. But I remember this and I felt so pretty that day. I didn't like my hair, but I felt nice. <laughs> um, and I still have the dress, actually. I haven't sold it yet, which I probably should. But it's such a nice memory. And it's just... I don't know. It's probably something that I'll never forget. I still have those shoes in my cupboard, I'm pretty sure, as well. I've literally got, like, the entire outfit. So... Keep me in that for some sort of crazy event, maybe one day. Who knows? But... I'm going to wrap it up there because the rest, as I said, is basically just like my public Instagram, but that is all of the like cringy things that are kept on my private, which I just keep up because like it's a laugh. Like everyone wants to like look back at themselves and be like, oh my God, look how much I've changed. And literally if you scroll through my Instagram, you see me grow up. It's insane. But yeah, how crazy. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm really sorry about the technical difficulties. I need to figure out how I can screen record because my phone just isn't letting me do it and it's driving me nuts. But if you did enjoy this video and you made it this far, make sure to give it a massive thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe to see more content. And I'll see you in the next one, whenever that may be, because I can't remember what day this is going up. <laughs> Bye.